Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Selenium tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to automate the alerts present on website using Selenium. So let's begin. Let's first understand what are alerts and then we will see the different types of alerts. And finally, we will see how to automate those alerts using the Selenium. So let me go to the browser here and just right click on anywhere, click on inspect, go to the console here and let me type here alert and i am passing the value as hey i am the alert right so when i click on enter you see this sort of a pop-up here so this is known as a javascript alert here right so let me open the website called internet Internet Hiroko app. So let me go to this application here. Let me close this one. So these are the three different kind of alerts. So the first is known as a simple alert. Let me click on this one. So this is a simple alert here. You just need to click OK or just need to accept this one. Second one is basically regarding the confirmation. And if I click on this one, it will ask for the confirmation. Either I can confirm this or I can cancel this one as well. So both options are available. If I click on cancel, so it will say cancel here. If I click on this one, it will say OK. And the third type of alerts is basically regarding to the prompt. Let me click on this one. And here you need to type something, right? You need to provide some data here. So here. I am providing data and you need to click OK here. So you can see. So these are the three type of alerts here. And now we will see the problem first. And after that, we will try to automate this one. So if I click on any of this prompt here, and if I go here, you cannot inspect this element here. You cannot inspect this JavaScript pop up. I am trying to right click on this one, but nothing is happening. Similarly, if I go here, if I try to right click on this one, nothing happens, right? And if I click on the third one, you cannot inspect here, right? So this is a challenge here. If you cannot inspect, you cannot use driver.find element to find this alert pop up. And when you cannot find this one, this means that you cannot automate this alert pop up. Now, how we can automate this one for that what we need to do is that after clicking on this one when this pop-up appears we need to switch from this main window to this pop-up okay and once we will be moved to this pop-up then we can perform actions on this pop-up for that let me open the selenium documentation and uh, let me go to the API documentation here, click on API docs here and go to frames here. Let's scroll down to web driver here, which is an interface. Let me scroll down. Let me find the web driver here. So this is a web driver. Click on this one and this is a interface, right? And this interface has some nested classes right which are known as web driver navigation web driver dot window right so there are so many classes available here and then we have some methods from this class and if we scroll down you will see a method called switch to right so this is a switch to which we need to use in order to switch to the different pop-up alerts we can switch to different window we can switch to different frames so let me click on this one and also this one. Now this is another interface called webdriver dot target locator. Now you can see that after switching, we can use this method switches to the currently active model dialog for the particular driver instance. This means that we can switch to alert, we can switch to frames, we can switch to new window, we can switch to parent frame. So we can after using this webdriver switch to method we can switch to alert we can switch to frames and we can switch to the window 
and let me scroll down here if I go to alert here so this is the information about alert here right and then if I go here so you can see this is the information available for the switch to so let me go to this eclipse here let me create a class here and under this automation script I will be creating a new class and let me name it as automating like this main method check here click on finish let me copy some basic code from here copy this one let me go to here because we need the url as well so for that let me go to automating alerts and let me provide this here and now let's go to the browser here and let me click ok here this is the first thing we need to go let's copy this one from here and paste it here right once you're done with that what we need to do is that we need to click on this button so let's right click on this one click on inspect and we would be using the selectors up here and let's copy the relative x path from here okay let's go back here driver dot find element by x path and we need to provide the x path here right? and once we do that what we need to do we need to click on this one right so after clicking here what i need to do is that i need to switch to that particular pop-up so if i go here if i click on this one then this pop-up appears right now let's go here so we are using web driver dot switch to dot alert right and when you switch to alert then you have a multiple further methods you can accept this you can dismiss this accept means you are clicking clicking on ok you're accepting this pop-up if you dismiss this means you're canceling this one if you want to get a text you can get a text you can send keys and you can send some test data here so these are different methods available so let me click on this one and now before accepting this one what i need to do here let me add third dot slip else you might not find this alert because it is opening very quickly so let me run this one if we face any exception here then we will add the third dot sleep in order to delay our execution so let's run this one and see what happens so it will go to this website here and you see it, it went really quickly and it suddenly opened that one and after that opening it will close it right now what I need to do is that let me put some third dot sleep here after clicking so that you can see execution properly here. Let me add some third dot sleep here and I'm waiting here. These are not the good way uh, for delays. We will be using proper weights in Selenium in our upcoming sessions let me here put a delay for five seconds and let's run this and see what happens so before accepting the pop-up it will stay for some time right and you will see that now it will wait for five seconds click on ok right so this is how you can uh, you know accept the pop -up. now we will go with the second one and this time we would be using the dismiss method here and let me close this one and let's go back to the main page here and 
inspect this button now and let me copy the locator from here navigate to eclipse here and here what we need to do is that again we need to provide driver dot find element by dot x path and using the x path we need to click on this button right and after clicking this one again what i'll do is that i will add thread dot sleep here so that we can see the action and now driver dot switch to dot alert dot dismiss okay and this is what we need to do let's run this one and see what happens so first it will go to the first prompt it will accept the first prompt then it will dismiss the second one so after clicking on OK here, you will see that you successfully click on alert, then I am JS confirm and it cancelled. So you, you clicked cancel, right? So this is how it works. Similarly, what we need to do is that we need to go for the third one here and we need to inspect this element here and let's copy the locator here go back to the clips here driver dot find element by dot x path and let's provide the x path here and we need to click on this button first and then we need to provide some text here right and after providing a text we can accept this as well so once we click on this one i would wait for five seconds so that we can see how it's working and then we'll go to driver dot switch to switch to dot alert dot send keys so using send keys you can provide data to particular javascript pop-up right so here i'm typing here hey i am providing data in javascript pop-up This, this is way you can provide the this particular data and once you will provide the data I will again put some thread dot sleep here providing data you can see this one Let's copy this one from here and paste it here and then we will be using the same code from here which we used earlier and paste this one here okay. and that's it and let's run this one and see what happens so it will now automate three different pop-ups so first is simple pop-up it will click on this one and in the results you will see you have successfully clicked an alert then it has clicked on second one and says you clicked cancel and now it will type here and then click on this one right so you have seen that it successfully completed this one right so that's how you can automate the alerts in the selenium one thing i need to add here is that if you look closely to the execution it didn't typed this particular text in the pop-up however we have written the proper code this is because of the chromium driver issue so let me show you that issue so let me go to the browser here and so this is an issue already uh, 
which is locked and it's a room driver issue and issue id is this so alert value values not typed into a problem dialog so this issue is already being reported and once it will be fixed uh, your code will start working properly thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial